Hello my friends of Hatari Labs, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial what we are going to do is a lake bathymetric map. Okay, so what are we going to do? Uh, we have uh, from a survey from the USGS, we have some information about lake bathymetry. So this is the original file. And here you will see the zipped version of a GDB. Okay, so uh, you are going to receive in the description of this video some working raster files, some working chair files, and as well as these. Uh, well, you are not. You can. You have to download this from the from the USGS website. Okay. So let's continue. Um, well, let's create a new project and let's open the GDB because from the GDB we are going to work with this one, this one, um, mm -mm, and the short line. Okay, this is the short line. Okay, the short line is at the elevation of uh, 67.55. So, and then we have to export as a vertex. So this is, where is this? Vertices. Uh, this is in vector geometry, extract vertices. Okay, this is a patilla short line. Okay, and then we create, um, we create a vertex. Okay, great. So here we have our vertex. And then let's open the attribute table. Okay, why we have to open the attribute table? Because here we do not need. So ah, uh, okay, uh, we do not need object ID. We don't. We don't need all of this. Just we need the contour elevation. However, we need the contour elevation uh, as a attribute that is called elevation. So here. I'm going to call elevation. And it will be a float. And this will be contour, contour M. Okay, let's see. Okay. And then we can delete the contour M as well because we are just interested in this as an elevation. And save. Great. Great, and however, this is a temporary file, so we are going to save it, say export, save feature as, and then we are going to save it as shoreline vertex, but in our case, underscore one, because this is our files, not the default the ones. Great, so actually, we are we don't need this temporary one anymore, okay? So, and then here we have the Patias point, okay? And then here, if we open the attribute table, I don't know why, but in this case, we cannot, we are not able to delete any field, and we are not going to, we are not able even to, well, we are not able to edit, so we have to save it export save feature as and then this will be survey points underscore one mm -hmm. and this is in nat 83 on a UDM projection for uh, Puerto Rico if you want to see the lake you can use the quick map service Google and Google Satellite, and this is the link. Okay, so here we have the service, the service point one, and then open the service point one. Uh, and then we have as well, we are only interested in this elevation, but elevation, not elevation, there is an underscore, so we are going to create a new one, but first. Let's delete all the rows that we are not interested in. So this, 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 and this. Okay, it will take some time because we are talking about half a million points. No, a quarter of a million points. Okay. 
let's wait a little bit the main purpose of this tutorial is to show you the procedure I mean it's a procedure that seems to be well not so complex but in fact has some challenge so and we want to, to show you a procedure that works and then it might be helpful for you when you or like your learning curve when you are going to do your own process will be much faster okay so this will be elevation with capital E and this will be a real and this will be elevation this field okay 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 great so I can close this and then I can delete the original one this one I can delete and then get out of the, the editing mode and save our changes Okay. Great, I can close and then what I want then what is I don't need this anymore as well, so I can remove. I can I will remove in order to prevent the uh, confusions, okay? So here and then I have the patillas and some other points that as well we have to I cannot I cannot edit them so I have to export them as well so export save feature as a recheck file and this will be handwritten points underscore one great okay and this in handwritten points underscore one so let's remove this 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 and this because we are only interested in elevation and here in real and this will be peer peer vd is actually a datum okay oh sorry sorry you have to look for that here peer vd but that is a datum that means elevation okay so yes this okay great and now that i have it i can delete the original one Great, great. Toggle it off and then okay that's it. So here and then I don't need that anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a merge and in order to do a merge that's why I had I that in order to do the merge I need that every attribute table has a field of the elevation with the same header I mean the header is important here so it has to be the same header so with that we can do a merge so let's say and then it's in vector geometry vector general merge vector layer vector this is in vector general merge vector layer and then here what I'm going to use is the handwritten points the short vertex and the survey points okay great so I'm going to merge them and all of them will be merged on a same though all of them will be merged on the same uh, on the same chip file and it will be a temporary file I don't know if I did it mm -hmm, sure okay and the CRS will be the same okay and then here I have the merge file okay and I will do a group here that will call points where I will store the partial points this this and this okay and then just as a quick view that I am I have not 
made any mistake so here in supermarket circulum supermarket I take out the stroke okay and then here I said graduated by elevation uh, like spectral okay and here you you have to see that the borders are of higher elevation and the bottom part is of lower elevation it that has to be like this otherwise you have done you have done an error here okay so far we are going to do a sp line interpolation of saga multi-level build sp line interpolation of merge of attribute will be elevation of method will be without refinement the level will be 11 uh, just remember that this could be maximum 14 and minimum 0 the cell size will be 0 0.5 because uh, we made it with one and there were some like there were some borders that were not so smooth and the fit is to the nodes okay and then we are going to create a, a temporary file so we can run mm -hmm. so we are running this also take some time and the the next tutorial will be to get the I will do a tutorial in Python that gets the the volume with elevation of the lake I mean this curve where you have the volume and elevation okay we were going to do from the raster file it will be much fun Okay, close here and then here we have the grid okay this is our grid and this is the grid of the elevation okay however we know that there is no elevation from the lake outside the lake so we have to clip raster by mass layer clip raster by mass layer and then we are going to clip the grid and the mass layer will be this and then here if you see and I don't know why it doesn't apply a system of reference to the grid so we have to say that the system of reference is as well this system of reference why because it has no system or original system of reference okay and that's it nothing more okay great so and this will be our clipped that shows the bottom elevation okay we can do some contour from the clipped mask we can do a contour every one meter yeah this will be bottom elevation that's that's red and this will be a temporary file then you can store that as a temporary okay so on the original file okay I'm going to do some on properties I'm going to do graduated elevation and let's say blues classify and then I'm going to label those as well of text of blue okay and of elevation apply okay so these are our elevations yeah okay these are our I will insert a buffer okay and let's compare with the elevations that comes from because as well the survey comes from some elevations so let's compare with them uh, where are those elevations yeah but he is contra smooth so these are the original elevations and let's say I'm going to give some labels to those elevations labels single labels contour 
text and I will preserve this khaki number okay so here we see that this is our contour and this is the contour for the survey for the 54 for 52 for 50 and actually they are quite the same okay so we have that means that we have done a nice procedure okay even that and the, those can be i mean according to the system of interpolation you can have anything i mean like if you do it with three you will have another distribution as i mean they are not supposed to differ that much okay but there are differences according to the procedure that you have chosen great so finally what we are going to do is that i'm going to do a lake depth okay the shoreline has an elevation of 66.55 so let's see let's see here is the 66 67.55 and then there are some there are some small points, there are really small points on the clipping that goes to till 68, okay? And we know that that comes as well from the interpolation, okay? So, but actually those points do not exist. And why they do not exist? Because you can have the, the bottom of the layer, the bottom of lake higher than the, than the shoreline, okay? So we are going to, go to raster raster calculator and then we are going to do a uh, we are going to do a, a conditional so let's say when clipped is less or equal to 67.55 this is an if we are going to multiply this by 67.55 minus clipped mask okay great so what does it means that with that we prevent to have negative value of layer of lake depth okay so with that we prevent to because we with this we assure that all values that all values that this will do the this will do the the procedure for all values where the bottom elevation is lower than 67.55 and if there is a value that is higher okay if this value is higher this will be false and if this is false i mean it has a value of zero so you will have zero thickness okay zero lake depth sorry and then we are going to use to call it lake depth but in our case will be underscore one okay and it will be adjusted okay great so this is our lake depth okay and as well we can create another contours of lake depth every one meter and it will be uh, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. and then here Mm -hmm. and these are the contours of lake depth where I can here select the symbology uh, graduated and this will be elevation well in fact it's depth classify and then here I have this where that goes from 1 to 23 meters here okay um, this was the procedure in order to do this so we actually got the lake depth the contours of lake depth the bottom lake the elevation and as well the contours of the lake elevation uh, the procedure is quite um, um, simple I mean but it requires a lot of steps please remember that we are working with temporary files so for every defined output you have to export and save feature as to in order to store as a temporary as a permanent file okay thank you for following us and please wait to our coming tutorial where we are going to do uh where we are going to do um the process of the volume the curve of volume elevation for a lake okay great
fun. I say bye bye bye.